We're talking about personal discovery and I want to share with you now this idea of taking a peek under the hood. What do I mean by that? Well, sometimes you want to just peel the thing back and look at how am I wired? What components are, are a part of my matrix? How did God build me? Here's the thing. Every one of us are unique in some way. Every one of us have certain things built in that are that are very unique to us and frankly give us an advantage over the rest of the market, so to speak. In other words, I can do things you can't do because of the way I'm wired. You can do things I can't do because of the way you're wired. And amazingly enough, God put all that together that way so we could benefit one another and we would have something to offer and contribute to mankind. So let's take a peek under the hood. What do I mean by that? Well, primarily in this session I want to talk about your personality, your personality style. And we'll also talk a little bit about values. Uh, there, there are certain things that I believe are hardwired in pre-birth. That's right. Uh, I, I reference a scripture on this quite often in Jeremiah chapter number 1. Before you were conceived, I knew you. I had already set in motion everything about your life. Before you were born, I had, I had marked you and set you apart for a specific purpose. So here's the idea. Uh, theologians talk about predestination. I'm just going to say to you this. I believe before you or I arrived on the scene, we were hardwired with certain personality traits, certain systems of thinking, and certain value sets that were congruent with God's overall design and plan for our life. I'll give you an example of this for me, uh, not so much personality, but just values and interest and things like that. When I was a kid, I, I had a fascination with flying airplanes, and, and for whatever reason, anything to do with aviation, whether it was mechanical, uh, whether it was avionics, whether it was the actual art of flying, whatever it was, I just loved it. And so here's this thing that I don't know how it got there. Nobody tried to get me to be interested in that. As a, as a toddler, I was fascinated because I believe that interest was hardwired in from the beginning because now at almost 50 years old, that's a vital part of what I do. I am a professional pilot, not for hire, but I fly. I use the, the, the precious gift of flight to get myself from point A to point B a lot with the work that I do. My point is, is that you're wired a certain way. Let's talk about personalities. Uh, whether you're a DISC guy or a Briggs-Myers guy or whatever the case may be, uh, there's all kinds of wonderful tools out there you can look at this uh, from their perspective, but Here's the thing, you have fundamentally four basic uh, personality styles. Think about this, I'm a very high, using the DISC personality profile, I'm a very high D, a very high I. D is driven, dominant, I am very determined, I am very bottom line oriented, I'm very results oriented, that's the D. The I, I'm, I'm a people person, I love talking, I love conversation, I love teaching, I love being around uh, an environment where we can collaborate and share. I love relationships. So that's my dominant two personality styles. Well, here's the thing. If you put me in a cubicle at Corporation XYZ at Acme Brick somewhere downtown Dallas it, on the 50th floor and all I see is a gray carpeted wall all day long and I have no interaction with, and I've got a computer in front of me doing data entry and crunching numbers, my head's going to explode. Why? Because I am not, I'm literally not wired for that career. I'm not wired for that environment. I'm not wired for that kind of, of task because that's just not how I'm put together. So personality is very important. Let's look at it from another angle. My wife is in the DISC profile is a high S. High S is love stability. They do not like change. They want security. They want, they just want everything to be hunky-dory and status quo and I'm okay, you're okay, everybody's okay, let's don't mess with anything. Where my D over here, listen, I am, I wake up every day looking for a way to change something, okay? So imagine from a communications place, from a relationship place, from a, a working together as one, as my wife and I are questing to be one in our life. Imagine my personality style and her personality style and the potential clashes that are there, 
okay? So here's the thing. It's important that you know how you're wired, one, because you need to know what type of environment and what type of career or what type of work you're best suited for. Number two, it's important you know what your personality style is because, think about this, you need to know how to relate to people who don't think like you. Because if I related to my wife uh, purely on the basis of how I relate to other D's, we wouldn't have a marriage. We would have been divorced years ago. D would have stood for divorce, period, end of story. So I would encourage you to go online, just Google personality style profile, online personality style profile, and you're going to find a number of opportunities. Do some research. Do the profile. Take time to understand how you are wired internally to view career, life, environment, relationships, etc. It is vital. That's, a, that's one of the key, if not one of the first parts of the discovery process. The second thing I want to mention to you very quickly here is values. I also believe that each person is internally wired with governing values. And in some ways those values can be developed over time. But for me, honesty, truthfulness, learning, uh, relationships, all of these are things that I value above other things. So I've taken the time and I've developed a process where I can help you, help others, actually determine very clearly what it is that you are valuing above other things. Here's the thing, you can't lie to yourself. Uh, your life right now looks like the things you value. And so don't say you value relationship and time with your family when you don't spend any time with your family, okay? I'm just saying. Personality style and your values. These are two very important components in the personal discovery process. And I encourage you to go about taking the time, investing the energy of finding out what's under the hood. Well, I'm excited to share with you the opportunity of diving even deeper in your personal journey toward building the strategic life you were intended to live. We've been talking about the four cornerstones for strategic living around here for a very long time and now you can access an online video course and the four cornerstones for strategic living book for yourself. If you were intrigued by this topic, if you felt as though you needed someone to come alongside of you and help you to walk out the process of personal healing, personal discovery, personal development and personal deployment, I'm inviting you to visit our website at brianholmes.com forward slash 4CS, like four cornerstones, but 4CS. You'll find information there about how you can enroll in a course of study or in reading the book and take your life and your leadership to the next level. I invite you personally right now to go with me on this journey. Let's build a strategic, a powerful, and a meaningful life together. Thank you.